The animals send some people running, but researchers in northern Colorado say snakes might be able to cure cancer. We know rattlesnakes can kill humans, but scientists hope that their venom may actually be able to kill cancer cells specifically. Our Dylan Thomas got a hands-on look at how scientists are experimenting in hopes of finding a cure. For many, snakes like this one here are absolutely terrifying. I admit I had to build my confidence just to hold Jimmy here. But some scientists here at the University of Northern Colorado actually think some snakes may be the key to battling cancer. It's a sound we've been trained to fear from an animal many loathe. People tend to have a visceral reaction to snakes in general. But for UNC professor Stephen Mackesy, a room stockpiled with hundreds of venomous snakes is a room stockpiled with potential. These are compounds that evolved to kill other animals, kill things, in general wreak havoc with living systems. It turns out they're actually a very logical place to look for therapeutics. Snake venoms have been used since the 50s to treat things like high blood pressure in millions of people. But when it comes to using venom to combat cancer... When you think about looking for a therapeutic drug, you don't turn first to something like a venom or a toxin as a source. By extracting venom and testing the protein and compounds, Maxi and his students have learned many venoms are successful at killing cancer cells. PhD candidate Tanner Harvey has specifically been researching viper venoms. It kills breast cancer really quickly at low doses and it kills colon cancer at low doses, but it doesn't kill melanoma. Killing the cancer with venom is not hard. It's not killing the patient. That's the challenge. A challenge this team embraces. It's just like panning for gold. It's something that's commonly associated with killing could actually one day help save life. I think it certainly will. Would students here be the key to finding the cure to cancer? There's no question that they have the ability to, to make that kind of contribution. That the study is still in early phases. In the end, researchers hope to prove the slithering creatures often feared for taking life should, after all, be embraced for their ability to preserve it. You never really know what is going to come from a natural source, even something like a rattlesnake. Maybe, in fact, that these dangerous animals house in their venom something that one day may be life-saving. At the University of Northern Colorado, I'm Dylan Thomas, covering Colorado First.